So if Jesus is God's son, then is Jesus God? Great question, glad you asked. Hello Internet, my name is David Dorn and this is the Pursuit Blog and that is a question, let's face it, most of us have asked ourselves at some point or another whether we are Christian or not. As a pastor, this is a question that I get a lot, and uh, I actually got this question live on stage just a few weeks ago, so I wanted to give you the answer I gave them. So as Christians, we believe that God is made up of three persons, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. All three persons equal one deity. This is one being made up of three persons. It's, it's something that we have talked about for millennium, and nobody completely quite gets how all that works. But, here's the thing. When Jesus came, he's setting the example for us. So, you know, you have God the Father and God the Son. It's the same God, but as coming into humanity, God is trying to demonstrate the relationship that you and I get to have with God. So, Jesus is praying to God He's, he's getting away to spend time with God. He's, he's teaching us all these things, and he's saying, do this, like the way I do this with God the Father. Both are fully God, but they use father-son language because we get to have that relationship with God. If we come to faith in Jesus, the Bible says that we get to become the children of God. We get to be sons and daughters. So this is the relationship that Jesus is demonstrating for us to have with God and what we get to have with God. Otherwise, how else would we be able to relate to this divine being who created or had everything come into existence? I mean, how else are we going to conceptualize this relationship if not him demonstrating that for us? So frankly, I think it's just the language that God chose to use, this father-son dynamic, because in our culture, that is how we would be able to relate. Now, God also had to come into humanity. So how is God going to come into humanity? He has to be born. So uh, the, the reason that, that Jesus is a man and not a woman is because to be fully God and fully human, he would have had to have been a man. Let me explain. If Jesus had come as a woman, hypothetical, if Jesus had come as a woman, he would have been born, she would have been born of a woman. So therefore, if, the females are represented twice in this equation. So for him to be fully God and fully human, the woman had to bear him. So therefore, the only other option is for him to come as a man. And without getting into too much particulars, uh, you have to imagine that the uh, woman had her eggs and the Holy Spirit had to bring the other part. <clears throat> And while that's not confusing enough, it would have been more confusing had God been born and it would have been, you know, him saying, ha ha, I'm God, even though I'm up there, I just got born. It's easier for humans to understand the father-son dynamic. I hope that settles some of that question. I know it's, it's, uh, it's not an easy thing to explain, and it's something that we have talked about for thousands of years, and we are still trying to explain how uh, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit all are the Trinity. Now we'll say this, and this is something that kept me up last night because I was just really frustrated. A very famous Christian YouTuber tweeted out uh, recently uh, about the fact that since God doesn't have a physical form, you know, then what does is, what is beauty look like? He's going for the question of uh, what is the essence of beauty and those things, but he said God doesn't have a physical form. Um, hello, the incarnation of Jesus. Ah. What really frustrated me is this guy has such a huge following, and I know he's very well read, and I know that's not what he meant, but the Trinity is confusing enough as it is. We explain it the best that we can, but it's just one of those things that we go, I'll know more later. But we do understand that God does have a physical form, and that is the form of Jesus. So to say God doesn't have a physical form, it just goes to further people's confusion. And so many people have retweeted it, and so many people have favored it, it made me sick. This is why I want to answer the question. So you don't go out and say things that are not true. Because that just further perpetuates the confusion that other people have. And yes, I tweeted him back. Several times. If you have a question you'd like to ask me, please leave it in a comment down below, and uh, I will hopefully do another one next week. I hope you have a great day. God bless.